Hey guys, this is a Williams Bubbles arcade game that was converted into a uh, relief pitcher JAMA arcade game at some point after its initial, its initial run. What I'm going to be doing is I'm converting this back into a Bubbles machine and when they made this conversion, the operator just painted over the original Bubbles side art. Um, Bubbles has a really cool stenciled side art uh, with Bubbles all painted along the side. And what I'm going to try and do is remove this paint but keep the original side art intact. Um, and I'm going to show you a trick of um, how I figured out how to do this. It takes a little bit of elbow grease but it can be done and all it requires to use is some isopropyl alcohol um, and I'm using 91%. You want to use the higher, the higher percentage is the better. Sometimes when you go to the drugstore or something, you'll find isopropyl alcohol that's like 70%. You don't want to use that because you want to use something that has a really, really high alcohol content. Um, reason why is the alcohol will actually evaporate off the cabinet surface rather than sinking into the wood. If the water sinks into the wood, is absorbed into the wood, it's going to damage your wood. It's going to, it's going to damage the paint underneath of it. And the alcohol will basically evaporate right off that. So I use isopropyl alcohol and I use magic erasers to get the, um, the paint off. These are magic erasers, it's sort of the box that they come in. And they're a little pricey, they're usually about a dollar a piece. Um, and this one has four in it, so that's about four bucks for the box. But uh, that's my system, so I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, you take your magic eraser and you put some uh, alcohol on it. And you basically just wet it. You don't want it to be sopping off, but it needs to be wet. <clears throat> and then you just kind of wash it off. Now, this cabinet, you'll notice, you can already see the side art coming off. This cabinet was painted over with cheap latex paint, which is great for our purposes because it means it's really easy to take off. Um, the isopropyl alcohol, it just dissolves this latex paint just right away. And it's almost like it just washes off, if you see what I mean. Like it's just dirt or something. Um, now, if this cabinet was painted with a enamel-based paint or an oil-based paint or epoxy, it would be a lot more difficult to get off, but it can be done. Um, I've done a moon patrol and I can show some, it may be in another video of that, but it takes about five or six times as long to get through the, the layer of paint. But as you see, <clears throat> I'm making really good progress here. I have already revealed in about one minute one of the bubbles. Um, this cabinet has stenciled artwork that was designed by uh, the great Python Angelo, who was an arcade and pinball artist. And um, <clears throat> saving any of it that you can is a good thing. You can strip a cabinet down to the bare wood and re-stencil these. I believe they actually make re-stencil kits. But you know, if you can keep the original art, why don't you? It's, it's actually really cool to, to do so. So that's, you know, that's the progress that I'm making right now just with a single magic eraser in a few minutes. Um, now I want to say something as well. Some people say, oh, if you're going to strip a cabinet or if you're going to try to recover our side art to use goof off or to use uh, citrus strip or something, don't ever use those things on a cabinet that you have side art on that you want to save because it will just melt through everything. The isopropyl alcohol is actually really mild and it will eat through <clears throat> only uh, cheap paint. The Williams paint that they used is really good paint and it won't, it won't eat through it at all. And then the magic eraser kind of erodes the paint like a super fine sandpaper or something. Um, but again, it doesn't go through the Williams art. Once you get to that, as long as you stop, it won't go through the, through the original side art. So as you can see, it's now a little dirty looking. Um, magic erasers leave a really 
kind of gross residue, like a white residue, and then this leaves quite a bit of paint residue as well. So I'm basically just going to use a washcloth and pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And then this will just take off any residue that you have remaining on the art. As long as you've gotten most of the paint off, it'll take it off. See, so there's a little bit left. But when you get to this stage, you want to keep, you want to try and keep your paper, paper towel clean. Like, see, it's gone gray. Once you get to that layer, I just turn it around. And you want to keep it clean as you go. And it takes it all off. Now, you'll notice that I'm wearing rubber gloves when I'm doing this. Man, um, alcohol will dry out your skin really badly if you're just using it barehanded. So you want to use rubber gloves uh, just to keep your skin in good shape. Um, but there we go. You know, it took about, what, two minutes here to reveal this marvelous original Williams side art. To do the whole side of this cabinet, it's probably going to take me about an hour. I already did the first side, and it took a, uh, just a little over an hour to do the entire side. Um, and it took me about six magic erasers to get through the whole side. Now, you can clean a magic eraser once you get it, you know, once your magic eraser is, is fully impregnated with paint. Now this is actually, I can still got quite a, bit, quite a bit I can do with this one, but when your magic eraser is totally filled with paint, you can go and wash it out and then squeeze all of that liquid out and use it again. And I find you can basically use a magic eraser about twice like that before it starts to really disintegrate and you have to switch to a new one. And then when you get to the final stage, you want to use a clean magic eraser because you're trying to get all of the paint off. But there you go. I mean, that's... Um, super easy to do, assuming that your cabinet has latex paint on it. If it's a different kind of paint, it's going to take longer. Um, but latex paint's the easiest to do. Now, now I did the other side of this yesterday, so this is what the actual bubble side art looks like uh, once the paint has been completely stripped off. As you can see, it did a great job taking it off. Now, I still have a couple stages I'm going to do on this side art to, to get it to where I want it to be. I'm going to do one final cleaning on it. I'm going to re replace all of my T-molding, and then I'm going to touch up any imperfections. You see right there, something scraped it and it ripped the paint off. I'm going to touch that up with color mashed paint. And once it's done, you really shouldn't be able to tell uh, unless you get really up close that it's actually even been touched up. It should look really good. And then the last stage that I do once everything's touched up is I go through and I wax it like you do a pinball play field. And that'll just make sure that it stays clean and it'll protect the wood underneath. But there you have it. That's, that's my technique for getting um, paint off of a Williams cab. If you've got a cabinet that has uh, paint over top of the original side art, give it a try. You may be able to get it, you may be able to get it clear and um, get it back to its original state without having to re-stencil it.